वेलकम डियर चिल्ड्रेन जोग्राफी स्टैंडर्ड सिक्स लेसन नंबर नाइन एनर्जी रिसोर्सिस पार्ट टू वी विल स्टडी अबाउट सब्सटेंस बेस्ड एनर्जी रिसोर्सिस वुड इन विलेजेस वुड इज यूज ऑन अ लार्ज स्केल फॉर कुकिंग ऑन अर्थन स्टोव कोल Long ago, plant and animal remains got buried due to earth movements. They were then decomposed due to pressure and heat, leaving behind the element carbon. That is how coal was formed. Coal is used for different purposes according to its quality. Low quality coal is used for cooking. mineral oil and natural gas like coal these were also produced due to earth movements mineral oil is found under land surface and also below the ocean floor mineral oil reserves are limited in nature and in great demand hence its cost is very high it is called black gold because it has a blackish color and it is costly these energy resources are used in thermal power generation biogas biogas can be generated from biotic waste material such as faces of animals and dead leaves shells etc this energy can be used for domestic needs such as cooking heating water lighting lamps etc some farmers have raised biogas plants in their own yards to cater to their domestic needs energy from waste material waste is generated daily on a very large scale in big cities waste disposal is a major problem in such places this waste can be segregated to use the biotic component to generate gas this gas can then be used to generate power in future this may help to solve the problem of waste disposal in cities the above energy resources are known as biofuels because they originate from the remains of dead plants and animals atomic energy splitting of the atoms of minerals like uranium and thorium can be used for power generation in this process using very small quantities of minerals energy can be generated on a very large scale only a few countries in the world like india usa russia france japan use atomic energy now process based energy resources hydel power hydel power is the power obtained from the kinetic energy of running water hydel power does not cause any degradation of the environment also the water using in generating power can still be used again bhakra nangal in the punjab and koina in maharashtra are examples of this wind energy man has been using this resource since hundreds of years for example in sail boats but nowadays wind energy is being utilized for power generation for power generation a wind speed of 40 to 50 km per hour is required due to this wind speed the blades of the windmills turn generating kinetic energy this kinetic energy is further converted into electricity 
in the states of maharashtra karnataka tamil nadu etc windmills have been erected at many places now next solar energy we get light and heat from the sun we have seen that the intensity of solar energy is the maximum in the torrid zone in a country like india which is in the torrid zone there is a lot of scope for using this energy there is a solar power plant at sakri in dhule district of maharashtra devices like cookers lamps heaters vehicles can be run on solar power tidal energy sea waves and tides are movements of ocean water that go on continuously a technology has now been developed to generate power with the help of the speed and force of waves year 2 electricity is obtained from kinetic energy this energy is pollution free and everlasting it can be used on a large scale in a peninsular country like india efforts are on to start such projects in india geothermal energy hot water springs have always been an object of curiosity for men they can be seen at unabdev vajreshwari manikaran etc the temperature in the earth's interior increases by 1 degree celsius at the depth of every 32 meters man has now developed a process whereby this underground heat can be utilized to generate power one such project is located at manikaran himachal pradesh in india all the above energy resources are abiotic they cause minimum pollution they are also known as in exhaustible energy resources thank you